Hey guys, I'm Josh, and this is Milton, and we design gnarly electric skateboards. Electric skateboarding has been around for quite a while, but I think what you'll find is that most of the electric skateboards available are underpowered, one-wheel drive, and they really lack that fun factor. So in an attempt to bring that fun factor back to electric skateboarding, I'd like to introduce you guys to Narboards. Narboards are the most powerful electric skateboards. They're the fastest electric skateboards. They have the longest range. They have the most traction. And they have the shortest recharge time. I designed narboards during my senior year studying industrial design. I started off by designing this hand controller. The green part of this rocker accelerates the skateboard, and the red part applies the regenerative brakes. The rocker pushes on planetary gears which spin these potentiometers for a linear and smooth acceleration. After I designed the hand controller, I built this prototype for my dad. Oh yes, precise control. All I gotta do is not panic. And after I test drove it, I knew that I wanted to make one for myself. So, I spent countless hours designing parts, talking to awesome people, and visiting local manufacturing shops to come up with this, this, and this.
What's up guys, I'm Dalton Smith. Tyler Rago. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about doing drifts on your thick electric skateboard. Um, I prefer to use the Big Daddy. What do you like to use? Street Surf is my, my board of choice. As you notice, uh, they both have completely different setups for tires and boards. So today we're gonna to be talking to you about doing front side, back side, left handed, right handed, all the different variations you can do for drifting. And this is gonna be a pretty good little tutorial to teach you guys how to take your board and your riding to the next level. You ready, boss? Yeah. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I'm about to talk to you about the Big Daddy and the difference in between a drawn out drift and a quick whip. So we're gonna be doing front side and back side. So the first thing is to explain to you what is front side and what is back side. For most people, it's opposite of what they think it is. If I'm gonna be doing a drift to the left, that's gonna be front side. I'm gonna to wanna to grab my rail on the right and pull this way, okay? Backside is actually gonna be more towards your front. So that is kind of confusing for some people. So if I'm going to the right, that's gonna be my backside drift. So whenever I'm doing front side, that's more of my favorable turn. And it is for a lot of people just because it feels more comfortable. I'm gonna be getting real low. I like to keep a little bit more weight on my back than in the front. And it depends on if I wanna do a drawn out turn or a big whip. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you is more of a drawn out drift. You wanna have a nice speed going, nothing that's gonna kill you by any means. And you wanna get comfortable, you wanna get low and visually draw the line in your head, follow through, give it some practice, and you'll find that sweet spot with your speed, with your hands, your feet, the whole nine yards. Next I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a quick whip. You're gonna want a little bit more speed, but more importantly, it's about how you distribute your weight. I'm essentially going to stomp on the gas and stomp on my back foot and just dig into the ground. So the last thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is the backside drift and the backside whip. This does take a little bit more practice. I recommend you start in the grass before you get into the gravel and dirt. I like to get nice and high. Sometimes I'll grab the handle, sometimes I'll just grab the deck. And again, the harder you pull your throttle, the more of a whip you're gonna get. All right, guys, so that's all there is to do in the front side and back side drifting on your Big Daddy skateboard. Remember, it's all about your speed and your weight distribution, so have fun, be safe. And now we're going to have Tyler tell you about the Street Surfer. The Street Surfer is a much smaller, lighter board with a lot more grip on the tires. We're going to be going over exactly what Dalton just went over, but where I like to keep my weight and my feet when doing the front and back side drifts. Now I prefer the front side drift and whip. So for the front side whip, I'm gonna get real low and back on the board, grabbing that handle. Now once you get into that turn, you wanna accelerate and really kick that leg out, leaning back and just really forcing it around. So we'll start with that and I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna notice how I kick my leg out real hard, shifting my weight back to really get that tail to fling around. For this next one, I wanna kinda of draw it out a long drift and get to turn out of it with some speed. So as you can see, I let the board do the work on that one. I held my line, held my acceleration, and just really followed it through. So now we're going to be going over backside, which I really don't prefer, but it's going to be the same thing. Everything's just opposite, getting low, left hand on the rail, digging out in front now, and making sure that you're not kicking out too hard to spin it and not falling out forward on your face. We're gonna start out with the backside whip and then go right into the backside drift and you'll be able to see the difference. All right guys, well that was our first trick tip tutorial covering the backside and frontside drift on an electric skateboard. So we really appreciate you guys watching. I had a freaking blast, I hope you did too. Fick yeah. <laughs> So check back next time guys, we're going to be having a bunch of videos coming up showing you how to change the tires, the belt, any sort of adjustments you need on the board. We're also going to be having new trick tips coming out every couple weeks, so check back and we'll catch you next time. You.